And we are back with round two of the Legacy National 2017. I'm Jared, this is Jitesh. Uh, yeah, Jitesh here. Um, I, this is me on camera. I actually, yeah, we, um, we got you. Yeah, in round two here. I'm, I'm on the left in the uh, Reno Jackson, Jackson t-shirt. Uh, yeah, all right. For those of you playing Hearthstone, might be familiar with it. My favorite card of all time. Is he still in standard? No, he is not. He's rotating. Okay. In, only in wild. Oh. Um, so, so, um... I'm, you're I'm on, on uh, miracles. miracles. Yes. Miracles. This uh, topless tops. Uh, yeah. Topless yeah. miracles. Neo miracles. Um, yeah. As most people are calling it now. In your all all foil mess with my lighting deck. Yes. Uh, um, but Here yeah, we got, on I've, the right we've got Graham I'm, King. Got Graham King from uh, Melbourne. Um, King of vintage. King of vintage. Uh, a, a very accomplished uh, eternal player. Plays a lot of uh, vintage Highlander and Legacy. You'll see him at all the GP side events. Um, at all the major events around the country. He's a uh, mainstay. Very, very accomplished player. He's on food chain here. Food chain combo? Yes. Something you don't see very often up in Brizzy. No, it's um very rare. I believe Bo Wears is the only player with the deck that plays it regularly. Um, he and he doesn't play a lot of Legacy. He doesn't play much Legacy, no, but he, no. he likes to play the spicy ones when he does. He does, yeah. Him um, and John O'Winter, who's now down in Melbourne already. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I wasn't, uh, I think Graham might have known what I was playing, but uh, I was going in blind into this round. Yeah, well Graham changes the deck up for almost every event as well. He does, yeah. He's got quite he's, an extensive he's, collection. He's got extensive collection and, he, and he's played a lot of decks, so he's quite familiar with them. Uh, however, he is on the multi six uh, in game one, All right. Well, let's uh, but on the play. Let's take a look at this match then, eh? Yeah. Mul multi five with a hand of three brainstorms and a food chain and one land. Oh. Uh, I've kept a 7 uh, and I've just passed. Uh, Graham goes for the Brainstorm on turn 2 after drawing the Force of Will. Um, and does not, unfortunately, find uh, the second land. Oh, that's, that's a bit painful. You can it tell is. that this is around noon on the day as well, because look at that lighting. Exactly. Came in straight from the uh, skylight next to you. Mm. I'm just going to close that door. So, Graham is brainstorm lock currently, however, he does have a ponder to shuffle, potentially. Uh, I've seen that he's missed his land drop last turn, and I'm considering fighting over this ponder just to ensure he remains brainstorm locked. Yeah, when you've got him already locked, you do what you can to stop yeah, him from getting it. It's essentially, essentially a time walk if I can counter this uh, ponder. Which uh, I'm I'm still not sure exactly what Graham's on at this stage. Tropical brainstorm doesn't. Um, I, give that could too be much anything. Away. That could be even a four color Delver list. Yeah. That could be rug. That could be bug. Yeah. So I, I go for a blind predict on myself. Did you actually hit that ponder? I, I did hit that ponder. Oh. Blind predict. Um, I have I have a force and snap past a mage and another predict in in hand. Um, so I uh, contemplate enforcing this. Uh, I think about it, and I, I believe I let it go. And he does so hit the Graham land. Does find the land? Uh, there's a walking ballista and something else. Um, it's the second card, so I believe he'll keep the land here. Play the land, yeah. and then play a deathrite charming. That uh, makes sense. So that leaves Graham's hand as force of will. Food chain and brainstorm. Now what does force? Uh, what does food chain cost against? Four, isn't it? No, food chain costs three mana. Costs three. Two, two and a green. Oh, there it is on the screen. Anyway, look at that. Perfect. Yeah. And um, the combo, uh, if anyone doesn't know what it is, uh, with with food chain and either mist holographin or that uh, Aldrazi card, which I don't know the name of, but it's on the screen right now. Oh, that one. That yeah. one. Yes. Perfect. Cool. Um, with food chain in play, you can sacrifice. Um, not not technically sacrifice. You can exile any of those creatures uh, and add uh, mana to your mana pool. Uh, one more mana than what it costs. And because those cards you can play from exile, uh, you essentially create a loop where where in each loop you're adding one mana of any color to your mana pool. Uh, and that lets uh, mm -hmm. that creates infinite mana. Which so, um, so where do you go from there? The a few ways. Typi typically, uh, previously the list used to play Emrakul. Uh, as, as a win con. That just feels good. It, it does feel good, um, but now uh, they've moved away to the more sensible choice of uh, Walking Ballista, which is not uh, not necessarily a dead card in all situations. But it can be countered in all sorts of things as well, though, can't it? It, it yeah. can be, yes. Um, 
However, if uh, the food chain was encountered, then odds are that yeah, most likely the, you're okay. The ballista is going to get through. Um, but what about those sneaky essence scatters, eh? <laughs> <laughs> or um, oh, still sabotage may may be relevant. Hmm. Probably not. Probably not, but yeah. you never know. Oh. Um, so the way this game is going, um, I've just been trying to develop my mana. Um, I've just applied the death right, so to limit Graham's mana. Um, I sort of have an inkling right now after the death right's played um, that he's either on food chain or maybe a Lurin. I think he's in some sort of combo deck, and this yeah. just and spells that, it that out. That confirms it right there. That, that confirms it. Uh, the card manipulate fate. Which uh, in this matchup is essentially an, a better ancestral recall. Oh, it's so good! It is uh, because my deck uh, is, is quite a slow, deadly deck. Um, even without food chain, um, the card food chain, the, the the deck can easily just uh, cast all the creatures it gets in to exile from uh, manipulate fate. Yeah. Uh, so it is effectively reads uh, draw four cards. Uh, for two mana at sorcery speed. So what cards? I thought it was three. Okay. It draws three, uh, but then it draw, uh, it exiles three and it draws a card itself. Oh, okay. So it's effectively draw four. Oh, cool. Okay, that's good. Uh, so I I go for the force on the manipulate fate. It gets forced back, uh, leaving Graham with just the one card he drew for turn, uh, and and the food chain in hand. So we we see the. Um, Miss Toller Griffin's going into exile here. Yeah. So these uh, won't be a huge problem just yet, uh, as uh, he doesn't have enough mana to cast all of them. Uh, he can cast the Eternal Scourge, but not, not the Lake Griffin yet. Uh, Graham drew a Force of Will for the turn, so his hand is Double Force, Food Chain. Double Force on a fish, though. It's not great. It's not great. Uh, I try to get a clock on board by playing uh, my main deck, Gideon Ally of Zendikar, which gets forced. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, you got to got to force that. Gideon's done some work ever since uh, he's printed in has. EFZ. So um, we see over here a food chain off the top. Uh, sorry, a land off the tops that allows Graham to pass the food chain. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't have the mana to cast the Eternal Scourge yet. However, he essentially has infinite mana next turn, um, and three creatures on board, which leaves me in a very yeah, awkward position. Yeah, that doesn't position. look good for you. Um, I'm not dead, because Terminus still works um, well to get rid of some creatures, potentially. Uh, however, he'll likely just sacrifice, uh, exile them to food chain mm. so that he can recast them the next turn. Not the uh, walking ballista, though. Not the walking ballista, though. Um, so he has access to infinite mana. Um, and three creatures on board. Yeah. Uh, I believe I go for a Jace here to try and find a solution. You gotta do something. Uh, I have an Entreat and an Absent in hand, so a play here potentially could be to unexpectedly absent the food chain to be second from the top. Okay. So uh, that way he doesn't have access to infinite mana and lots of creatures. Uh, and, 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 and then I can, and I have a turn to find a solution for the food chain. Can you force a shuffle in any way? Uh, no, but I have predicts. So I believe oh, I have good. a snapcaster, put to, uh, the option of snapcaster predicting yes. the food chain away. Snap predict that. That's a nice one, actually, I like that. Um, which forces the shuffle from Graham. Yeah. So the food chain is gone. So one way or another, you get rid of the food chain. Yeah. That's um, good. It, it means I don't utilize predict uh, optimally, so I have to blind guess uh, a card. Hey, but I'll take a, a card in exchange for getting rid of his win con. Exactly. Um, it, it ensures I don't die, essentially. So uh, I miss no, on miss. the predict, but no, that's I, right. it does replace itself. Um, and now we're in a situation where he'll be hard casting Mist Holographins every turn. So what's Miss Holographins? It's 2 1 or 2 3? It is a 3 3 flyer. 3 3 flyer, for, okay. For 4 mana. So, it can be cast from exile. And it can, can be cast from exile, yes. Yeah. So I'm, I'm on a clock here. I do find it As a terminus, timely terminus. With a, uh, a very, very bad, badly glared terminus, but that is still a terminus. Yes. Um, getting rid of some cards and 
however, there's still one griffin in, in the graveyard. Uh, I have the option of maybe casting uh, Entreat for one hard cast, but it doesn't seem ideal. So, yeah, only for one and it's yeah. softer anything. So, um, Graham has drawn, I believe, a Deathrite Shaman and a Walking Ballista here. And um, you'll, you'll see I go for the hard cast Entreat for two here. Put out a clock, but also just find a, a good blocker for the Griffin. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's not it, ideal. It's not like, the you, optimal you, play. You want to be miracling your Entreat for, essentially, with the mana I have, I, it would be lethal. It would be lethal. How do you, how are you finding that these days without um, without Top to do it for you? We've got Brainstorm and Predict to do it. Yeah, Brainstorm, Predict, and Jace to put it back. Um, Jace yeah. to put it back, but, yeah. I mean, drawing it on their turn. Is drawing, hard drawing... Hard. Um, yeah, Entreat on the turn, not as important. Terminus on the turn is quite important. Um, yeah. However, we do have Portent now, which also allows you to do it. Um, oh, that's it, the next upkeep. Yeah, yeah, correct. Right. So good. Portent does allow, enable the Miracling on the opponent's turn. Well, there's the uh, However, it can only be on the upkeep, so you can't, um, you know, do it in combat, for example. That's all right. Which, which you could do with top. I mean, Miracle's lost a lot out of that yeah. top banning, but you still would So... We see a timely top deck of food chain. Oh, off the top. and, uh, the and with infinite mana already available, uh, we That's see all the, the combo. So we've um, we've got the sideboards here. What do yeah. you think it's going to be? Well, you know what you did. Well, in my sideboard, I have uh, a bunch of fluster storms. Three of them. Three of them. Uh, I'm, I'm playing a main deck fluster storm as well. Oh, okay, full set of flusters. Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm straight blue white. Uh, no, no red. So, no Pyroblast in my sideboard, which would be oh. quite useful here. We've got uh, three Flusty, two Surgical, two Canonist, yeah. three Mentor. Three Mentor three in mentor, the board. Good. So, I'm playing two Entreat main, three Mentor in the board. Uh, my, my considerations are Fluster Storm is very good. It helps yep. fight the Force battle, but also oh. hits Manipulate Fate, which is great in the matchup. Yeah, you've definitely um, you've got the advantage on Counter Magic here. You may as well just push yeah. that as hard as you can. Exactly. Um, Mentor is a consideration. It kills quicker. However, uh, Food Chain does play Abrupt Decay. Um, and I, I like Entreat better as the win con. It's just harder to deal with. Yeah, Entreat's a lot better in this matchup. Yeah. Canonist uh, stops the combo. But it also sort of hurts you. Yeah, it does, so, but it's worth it because you're yeah. not relying on it's, that. It's, it is, a, it is a consideration. Uh, I like the Disenchants uh, because it kills the Food Chain. Uh, and as as you see, uh, I think I only end up boarding in the flusters and disenchants and and none of the other cards. So um, I, I shave on a land. I take out a basic planes. Um, there's also back to basics in the board as well, which um, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, Food chain usually has at least one of each basic plus death right. Uh, but on on, on the plane, it's on the play. It's a consideration. But again, I'm I'm not a big fan. Uh, Swords to Plowshares is also not great in this matchup. It only trades one for one with Deathrite. Uh, it's not great against uh, a lot of the other creatures. Um, but you see here, um, my, considering taking out the planes, uh, unexpectedly absent, which are... It's not great in there. They're, they're not so ideal. Awesome, they're, they're quite slow. Um, and you're bringing in disenchants for the permanents you care about. So I've, I've cut a Swords... Two absence, one Gideon, and a Plains. Um, so this... thinking back at it, I might have just kept the Gideon in and cut the cut one more swords because it really isn't that. Yeah, good swords is up. not good here. I'd actually cut more. Yeah. I feel unusually close to Graham's beard in this shot. <laughs> and that's uh, weirding me out a little bit. So this is Graham's sideboard. We've got a one blue element and an elemental blast, mm. a two edict, two plague. None of which are that great against no. you. Uh, one Fluster Storm and a Hydro Blast just to play around the Surgicals. Yep. Two Mindbreaker Pithing Needle, three Extraction. Uh, yeah, three Extraction, a Deluge, and a Click. What yeah. would you do here in, in Grand I, I like the Click and the Fluster Storm. I don't know about anything fluster. else. Yeah. I think the others are fairly ordinary in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, Needle doesn't hit anything. Surgical, uh, no. nothing really. He's... Surgical can potentially mess around with your miracles or whatnot, but. It's usually it's a, at the cost of a card. It's which a corner case. I'd rather have something in there to help me win the game rather than exactly, stop you yeah, winning it. I completely agree. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think uh, click and a plus is strong. Uh, I'm not sure what I'd take out. Maybe he could probably safely cut a land and maybe a Brock Decay. 
Yeah, the Proctor K only really hits your angels. You don't have that many permanents at all. No, I do not. Um, this this version it really only hits like snap cast a mage or an angel token. And I'd rather spend my Proctor K on something more valuable than that. Oh, we're back anyway, so you've opened with an island. Yeah, so I've got Force of Will, Brainstorm, uh, lands, and a counter spell. So we see a cool. death right on turn one, um, and then I'm just passing back, holding up a brainstorm, and also counter spell mana. Counter spell mana, and you've also got the option just to uh, brainstorm and fetch. Correct. Uh, Graham has a walking ballista, a force of wills, two of them, Ooh. a land, a brainstorm, and the last card, which I can't quite tell. It's looks like maybe catacombs? a fetch land. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a catacomb. <laughs> So, Deathrite, surprisingly not doing much. Uh, no, graveyards are completely empty. And it's just draw yeah. go at this stage. It's draw go. Uh, I am Miracle, that blind Miracle bad. Determinus. That feels bad. Not not great here. Um, well, you're still going to use it. I mean, it's still yeah, a Deathrite it's, it's, it's still a one for one. Uh, there is a consideration that because I have Brainstorm, I could have just drawn it. And, uh, and um, just kept it in hand and then try to Miracle it at a later stage. But I think uh, that's it's a bit too risky. Uh, I think you just go for it while I still can. You've got to. I mean, mm. the brainstorm in response uh, by Graham. He finds another Deathrite Shaman, more land. Um, I'm, I'm guessing he has more than enough lands at this stage. He brought in the Pithing Needle. Pithing Needle. Yes, I guess oh, it cool. stops Jace, and uh, he would have seen the Gideon in oh, game true, one as actually. well. Yeah, Gideon's something I'd want to stop. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess it's uh, useful, but um, I'm, I'm not sure about, uh, yeah. It seems like an okay card, but doesn't seem overly great. But it's probably worthwhile since he has several cards to uh, board out. Um, we see a Force of Will on the Terminus, which is... Uh, very interesting. I don't like that either. I mean, I didn't like the Terminus in the first place, but this doesn't look like it's worth fighting over. Yeah, I, I agree. It doesn't look like it's worth fighting. O I mean, although he does get to pitch um, a Mist Oh, then. true, actually. Yeah, yeah, it gives him a chance to pitch it. It doesn't really matter what he wants to force it. Exactly. Uh, this lets him basically cast the Mist Holographon for free next turn. Also, oh, so the Force is... of Will didn't only cost him one life and one card. Which is a nice interaction that uh, this deck has. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good, actually. Uh, however, I'm... I'm not too worried about that either. If the Terminus was uh, getting several cards, I might consider fighting over it as well, because yeah. I did have counter spell. It's up. absolutely not worth it, though. Yeah. Because he's already got the Mythologriff in the graveyard, uh, in the Exile, and that's what he wanted, so exactly. you've already lost that fight, yes. essentially. So, uh, we see a food chain here. Um, and plus, then now you can fight over this. Yes. F fighting over the more important cards. The food chain gets countered. Uh, it's back to me. Uh, the Death Rite has now cards to eat, uh, and then I just draw a timely snack caster mage with an a active Death Rite out. Oh. So now I have, I go digging for an answer to the Death Rite. I what find what a Cluster this? Storm, Jace, Jace cluster and a Portent, I believe. That's, yeah, that's a Portent. The old, uh, old last stage out there. It's a yeah, beautiful so art back there. It is. Um, so I have the option of putting back some number of land, and maybe a, a Portent. Uh, uh, so I have Force of Will up, I could cast Jace this turn potentially, but it leaves the shields down. You, your shields are way down, and how many cards have you got in hand? Uh, Graham, I believe, has three cards at this stage. Yeah, you're wide open there. I I am. However, I don't have an answer to the death right, so apart from Force of Will, I don't have uh, Snapcaster Counter Spell up currently. True. So uh, I, I go for the risk, I uh, tap out for the Jace here, um, and hoping uh, that Jace resolves and basically uh, makes my hand a bit better and finds an answer for the death right so my snap caster is live. Well, Jace himself is an answer to the death right. Correct, I could, I could bounce him but it's only a, it's only a temporary answer and... Um, it has not summoning sick for another turn while you find an answer. Yeah, and that's exactly what I do here. Yep. So the Grandfoot goes for the shuffle. He'll be exiling my counter spell. So counter spell and brainstorm the only options in my graveyard. That's definitely the better option there. The counter spell definitely is the better option. You don't need to sculpt too much, and you've got a reusable brainstorm on Jace yes. anyway. Yes. 
So I believe we'll, uh, if I remember correctly, Graham goes for the walking ballista here on two in attempt to get rid of the Jace. Um, I like having Jace. Jace is a J very Jace good card. Jace is a good card. Yes. Hmm. So uh, I, I force of will that. This uh, tells me that uh, he had no force of wills or flusters to fight over it, <laughs> yeah. um, which is a good sign. Uh, however, I'm, I'm low on resources now, but uh, Jace, Jace being Jace helps a lot with that. Oh. I uh, see an entreat, which I can put back in uh, potentially a miracle, uh, along with a portent and another Jace. So I have the line here of playing my land, uh, casting portent, leaving the entreat on top, and miracling entreat for three mm. next turn. Three? Oh, you've got the extra line. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, puts um, Graham on a two turn clock, and um, I'm fairly confident this will resolve. Uh, and it, it leaves me open to. Uh, actually, this is an interesting uh, spot here. I also have a fluster storm here, so I could. Um, so what what ends up happening in a in a very awkward way, uh, as as we'll see next turn, um, I choose to entreat only for two to leave up fluster. No, storm. I like entreating for two. Yes. Uh, however, um, as you'll see, what will happen is I announce my entreat miracle trigger. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, alert. on, on uh, Graham's upkeep. Uh, I do not tap my mana because I've only put the trigger on the stack. However, Graham goes to uh, Force of Will, uh, the Entreat, before I've paid any mana for it. Oh, that's... Uh... Which, is, which is unfortunate. Um, I was always... Uh, the intention was to Miracle it for only two in the first place, so I could leave up Fluster Storm. I'd say, yeah. But... Um, because I, he didn't wait for me to tap my mana for it, um, I, you know, I, I sort of don't get the option of casting it for three and having it being counted. Mm. Um, so yeah, that's all right. It, it, it gets a, it's a little bit awkward. It works out in my favor, but I sort of felt bad because um, uh, it uh, didn't, you know, allow him to uh, take another line of play. Hey, he might not have forced it if he saw I only was miracling it for two. Hey, don't feel bad about it. We take those. <laughs> so um, we see Graham deploying the second Deathrite Shaman and he's down to zero cards. So we have uh, Jace and two Angel, four four Angel tokens up against two Deathrite Shamans. Right, let's play Top Deck Magic, lads. Mm. Top Deck Magic is great when you've got the Jace. Yeah, so I feel like you might have this one. Yes. <laughs> So, pass back, I've, I believe, uh, um, I've got uh, Graham on a 210 clock, unless he gains some life with the death rat. Uh I find a bunch of land and the Jace that I knew was on top. So, I just shuffle the Jace away. Yeah. I uh, have hard cast Force of Will, Manor up. So, and go swinging. Yeah, and go swinging. So, uh, the potential is... Um, Deathrite's could attack the Jace star rather than activating and kill the Jace. Could have done, um, but, uh, but I'm not too unhappy with that since I have a backup fun. Jace ready. You've got another Jace. At, wait, didn't you shuffle? No, I chose to put the two lands on top and kept the Force of Will Jace in hand. I like that better. Um, I think the option might have been better just to keep the fetch land, play the fetch land, and give myself the option of shuffling if needed, if not drawing the Jace. I think that was a better play. Uh, but we have uh, Graham here casting the Mist Hologryphon uh -huh. from Exile. 3-3-5 three, three, feels bad when you're facing down two 4-4s. Four, it does. Um, I go for the hard cast forcible on that. Yeah. Um, it means it's in the graveyard now, which is where I rather want it to be. <laughs> well, you can't, you can't do anything about it there. Yes. And there's the other one. And there's the uh, Mist Hologryphon. I believe the Angels are lethal on board, uh, and I advance with the Jace. Yeah, and that's good. see the concession. All right, going into game three, did you change anything in your boards? Um, I considered it, but I believe I kept it as it is. Uh, some cards do get better on the play, potentially, uh, like Monastery Mentor and Back to Basics. Actually, I do believe I, I bought it in a single turn Back to Basics. Oh, cool. Because uh, I saw he was uh, fetching around it in the first game. He's fairly wide as well. He's got a lot of basics. He's got a forest, two islands, and one swamp. Yeah, he, he plays basics and the death rites, but um, he wasn't fetching for them. So I considered bringing in the back to basics, and I believe I do bring them, bring one, maybe both, both of them in. 
this game. Oh, cool. Uh, did you take a land out? I did take a land out. Hey, look, it's Dougal. Yeah, we have uh, a resident uh, death and taxes uh, expert, Dougal, here to provide more commentary. So I, I believe I don't actually end up boarding in the Back to Basics in the end. I reconsider and I believe I make zero changes. Cool. And I believe Graham also made no changes to his side. Yeah, he's just shuffling up getting into game three. So I have a hand of a couple of land, two brainstorms, a turn mess and a jace. And I believe a snapcaster. So quite quite a decent hand. Graham's got turn one death right, which is always great. Always great. Do you go for the uh, force here? Um, I saw no, force. I, do, I do not have a force, no. Oh, I thought you did. I thought I saw it in there as a brainstorm um, or so. Um, I'm not a fan of uh, Force of Willing uh, turn one death rights. Um, there's so much removal in the deck. Um, True. If it's a against a combo deck like Fleet Chain, it's more of a consideration because it means I can go off quicker. But I'd, I'd still rather try to answer it with a turn miss or something along those lines. Okay. So here we do see... So here uh, is the, the turn two Fleet Chain. The turn two Fleet Chain. And uh, as mentioned before, the... This is the situation where, you know, not. I didn't have the option of filling the death right, but uh, if I did have the option, here's a situation where a uh, force of willing might have been useful on that death right. Uh, so I go brainstorming, hoping and praying to find a force of will here, or maybe a disenchant to uh, to get rid of it. A uh, disenchant would be good here. I believe um, cannot combo off this turn. Because even if he exiles the death right, he only has two mana available. Um, he could pretend like, yeah, I, I don't think he can uh, go off. Oh yeah. So I put the terminus back on top. Get rid of the death right. Get rid of the death right. And then um, I don't recall what the second card was I put away. Might have been the Jace. Oh, we'll see your hand in a moment anyway. Mm. So I've got more cantrips in hand now. But not a lot of action. So I have to find an answer for this food chain. I'll go digging. You gotta be fast about it too. Yeah. Find a bunch of find enough use, use, useful useless cards. And I go shuffling again. The, the joys of uh, fetch lands, ponders, and portents. Those uh those sleeves are starting to look a bit wrinkled as well, mate. But they talks. are, they've they've uh, been through a lot. Uh, so we see a manipulate fate here, the ancestral repel in the matchup. Such a I have match drawn up. a force of will, and that's my only out at yeah, this stage. Yeah, you got to do it. So force of will pitching the Jace. Um, Jace, although being a great card in this matchup, it's um, just a bit too slow here when when being put under a lot of pressure for the combo. Uh, however, Graham misses his third land drop and passes. So uh, yeah. that, that means comboing off will be a bit it's gonna be difficult a, a for him. It's going to be a lot harder now. You're establishing your board. Yeah, and I draw a snap past the mage for the turn. And my hand, I believe, is snap, fluster storm, and uh, some other cards. So I brainstorm off the top with Graham. I consider fighting over this, and I do believe I fluster storm it. Yeah. So that's... um. Essentially a spell piece here, but with uh, without honor. Oh, no. Yeah. I go for the brainstorm. Try to build a storm can't. Is there anything that he could have that would stop you from just fostering? Uh, I mean, he in this scenario he could force of will a one of the copies of the yeah, storm. Yeah, okay. And pay for that's it. true. That's true. But that's about the only thing. And honestly, I'm not too afraid if he does that. Well, you've gone around and not yeah. done it. So, so. I've, I, know, I think I've sort of wasted a brainstorm here. The brainstorm hasn't uh, found me any anything useful. But it wouldn't have found it anything useful later anyway. Correct. Um, however, maybe two, three turns on the road, the brainstorm could have been a bit more useful. Uh, wouldn't have been as good, obviously, in the, immediately, but down down the track. So you can see me there trying to air myself out uh, yeah. because everyone's sweating like pigs. It was like so <laughs> hot that day. Mm. I believe I, uh, I did a, a measure on it. It was measuring at 41 degrees wow. on stage. Felt like 41. Aircon set at 15. Were you there that day, Dukes? I was not. Thankfully. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think back then there's any merit to thought teasing first if the brainstorm is 
that important? Um, no, I, I think you brainstorm first. Um, thought, thought seizing is useful, but um, uh, I don't. Know. It's 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 a close call. I think you want to uh, tr hit something useful and be able to combo off, and ideally you want to use the thought seize on the turn you combo off. Make sure the coast is clear. Make, yeah. And ensure the coast is clear. Um, you know, when comboing off and winning the game on the spot is probably more useful than uh, letting a brainstorm resolve. So, end of his turn, I believe I go for a snapcaster brainstorm. Mainly just to put some pressure on him, get a, get a clock going, uh, and also find lands, because I know I've kept a Jace near the top. There it is. Right, I do find my land, and I uh, play my Jace with the resolve. Graham has a Force of Will in hand, however his other two cards are Food Chain and a non-blue card. I believe it's Walking Blister. Mm. Yeah. So, Graham's in the spot where he's top decking, uh, and he has to find something good. He finds a land. He could play a Ballista for two here. Don't like it though. No, it, it doesn't accomplish too much because it can't kill the Jace yet. It's protecting himself from yeah. uh, Disenchant. Yes. So, he plays out the second blue chain, and I believe I do actually draw a disenchant either here or some, or in the coming turn. A little bit redundant now. A bit redundant now, but I do have a snapcaster mage, True. so I can uh, go disenchant, snap, disenchant. Don't so I, I shuffle first before brainstorming with Jace, because I need the top card, and it wasn't useful, and there is that disenchant. So I find myself a disenchant. And the land, so you can do the uh, disenchant, snap yes. disenchant. Uh, but I put the disenchant away for now, just to leave up counterspell mana. Yeah, that's So funny. I have Force of Will, blue card, counterspell, and I'm feeling quite confident here. Yeah, I'd feel good in this case. Yeah. So it lets me snap, disenchant, snap, disenchant next turn, if needed, but also leaves up two counterspells. And Graham, unfortunately, draws another land. land. So, yeah, this... This game continues on in this fashion where I'm chasing, um, building up answers to anything he might potentially have, and then... Uh, and playing them slow, be slow beats? Exactly. Getting the slow beats on and uh, basically I ensuring that uh, there's no way Graham uh, gets, gets a win. So, with uh, the two counter spells and Disenchant and Snap Pass in hand, I'm not sure what he's... Uh, Graham's arts are currently. Not many. Not not many. So, go for the disenchant end of turn. I draw a land. Um, go for more beats with snap after brainstorming again. So, I haven't been shuffling. I haven't found too many shuffle effects. You kept the, the swords in. I, I kept some number of swords in. I believe I brought it out one if, or maybe two. Okay. Uh, so it's still useful against Deathrite, but... Uh, still good, but... But it's not great. I don't like the idea of having something to remove you know, a four off. Yeah. There's just other cards that I didn't... Um, uh, that are worse off, like unexpectedly absent. Which okay. I took out, That's good. And I didn't have that many cards to bring in. So I go for the Disenchant, uh, the Flashback Disenchant. Uh, Graham for the f goes for the Force of Will because he realises his only out is... Um, being able to combo up, and I go for the counter spell on the Force of Will. Mm. He's pitched the Missile Griffin, so he actually has infinite mana next turn, and it'll win well, no, that it way. Doesn't. But um, unfortunately, I have the counter spell back up. Oh well. And I and I believe I also have a Force Blue card at that stage. I was tapped out of the Fluster Storm. You've got Blue cards for days of all this chasing you're doing. So yeah. And that was a terminus, was it? Yeah, a terminus and a land goes back to the top. I have Ponder Fluster Storm. Force, which I can hard cast now. Yeah, oh, true. But I want to shuffle away with this ponder now. Because I have swords, land, not, not much else useful in, on top. Uh, we don't have the life totals, but I believe Graham's quite low at He's this quite stage. low, I mean. I've been tacking for two for a lot of turns and four <laughs> this last turn. So I believe I have lethal on this coming turn, which forces Graham to go for a ballista for two. He's got to do something. Yeah, so this stops the clock. However, I have the force of You've got the force there. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, that's the hand. Okay, this is all over. Mm. So, a few unfortunate draw steps for Graham. Um, 
there was there was a position, probably a few turns where he could have uh, top decked uh, the combo because he already had the ballista. He just needed to find himself uh, eternal scourge or a griffin, uh, and the third land to cast third and fourth lands to cast them. Yeah, he has a really really unfortunate early game there, which yeah. really cost him. And then Jace does what Jace does best. But it was a risky keep as well. I mean, he's got no one but himself to blame. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to say that. I mean, you've got to keep the risky ones sometimes. Yeah, but you, you can't. The unfortunately, yeah. this matchup um, it goes one of two ways: either they combo off reasonably early and win. If, or... if turn five comes around and you still haven't yeah. won against the Miracles deck, you've probably lost. Yeah, uh, the deck does grind reasonably well just with the Griffin. Just not as well as you. Like, just not as well as me with the Jaces and the turn misses and the predicts and the snaps. Yeah. It, uh, yeah. Oh, well, let's uh, put you to two, I believe, for this one. Correct. Uh, uh, Graham does reasonably well. I think he ends up finishing one win out of the top eight. That's a pity. Uh, and, I, and I also make it to the top eight. Um, but, uh, have we had you on the camera again? We don't, unfortunately. Oh, that's okay then. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see you in round three, guys. Yep. Very well.